as of recording today, had a massive battle styles uh, leak card from Japan. So, you know, a whole new load of cards. And, you know, the first thing I'm going to do, baby, is put them in a the deck and let's see how the decks might look. So, let's have a first look at Victini VMAX. So let's have a look. Is a VMAX Pokemon with 310 HP is a little bit on the low side, but when you see how efficient it is, it might not be much of a problem. Um, with two attacks, the first attack, Spreading Flames. For one Curtis Energy, you can attach up to three uh, Fire Energies from your discard pile to your Pokemon in any way you like. So that sounds a bit familiar. Uh, and you'd be correct in thinking that because that's the same attack as Victini V from Sword and Shield, the first the first attack on that anyway. So it's actually got the same attack as the Victini V, which is pretty interesting. Um, then you've got Victory Max for two energies, for one fire, one colorless. You do uh, 100 damage plus 120 if your opponent's active is a V Pokemon. So that includes V Max as well. So you're doing two for 220, which is extremely efficient. I guess the, the card that everyone's going to compare this to is like a Center Scorch, right? Uh, but for two energy, you are knocking the Center Scorch damage out, but clear out the water. So with this, uh, with this build, I should say, I thought we can use the extra energy that we would have been attaching to Center Scorch. We can use them in other ways. So yeah, let's have a look though. But yeah, two energies, 220, extremely efficient. Nothing to moan about there. Speaking of efficient, we've also got the uh, Victini V from Sword and Shield, um, which is a really cool card in his own right. Uh, basic Pokemon 190 HP over two attacks, spreading flames. We've already gone through that. But then a second attack, which is actually going to be really helpful, is uh, Energy Burst 30 plus 30, well, 30 times each energy attached to both active Pokemon. It's going to be pretty cool, in all honesty. Anything that's immune to VMAXs, you have a very good backup attacker in Victini V in that, like, you, let's say, a uh, Zamazen, uh, a Mating Rare, for example, you can just confidently send up this Victini and that will immediately dispatch them. As Spread of Flames, you know, going first, um, going second, I should say, on your first turn, it's a good attack as well to get some extra energies in play, so... I'm a fan, I'm a fan. It's always nice when the evolving Vs are actually decent. <laughs> uh, yeah, so, so to actually supplement that, we are well the deck, obviously. So we're going to have three of the Stellar Wish Jirachi, which you'll know what these do by now. But in case you don't, uh, if Jirachi is in the active, you can look at the top five cards of your deck. You can pick one trainer you find there and then put it into your hand, shuffle the rest back in, and then Jirachi is asleep. Now, sleep is pretty annoying, but we're going to play ho ho the switches and scoop pop nets just to alleviate that. But Jirachi is just how we're going to find a lot of Pokecoms and our welders and our stuff like this uh okay right so here we get onto a little bit of a spice a little bit of spice for your life baby there we go so we've got oh i need to turn your jaw off <laughs> so we've got um a two two of the nine tails line here's my thinking um since we don't have to pile so many energies onto this Victini VMAX, right? There's a myriad of ways you can play this. I reckon you play like a Greens way, EXP share way. But I thought if we're already playing Welder, we can get Victini set up in a turn most turns, or if we need to. How about we try and boss as, as well as Welder on those turns? That'd be pretty cool, right? If you can boss his orders, essentially with nine, tempta uh, nine Temptations and Welder. So let's have a look. Nine Temptations. Once you your turn before you attack, obviously, you can discard two Fire Energies from your hand. If you do, you can basically gust up your opponent's bench. So that's pretty cool. And that's going to open up a whole lot of uh, avenues for this deck. You know, let's say you've you've done a 220 to your opponent's VMAX. They retreat. You know, maybe free up a one prize to store all their next attack. You can be like, no, 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 nine temptations. Bring that one back here. Take your prizes and carry on. So I actually, nine tails could be quite good in this deck. Um, time will tell, but uh, I think the theory is quite good. We'll be testing it a bit more for sure. But <laughs> uh, got one crime rant. Crime rant is amazing. We all should know crime rant by now. Uh, beat catch is a good attack. You know, for one curse energy, you search your deck for two cards, put them in your hand. Really good if you're going first uh, on your first turn, going second. But then spit shot basically leaves a free energy carry then eh? <laughs> on the bench. <laughs> That's about it. And it's also a good match as well between um, Victini. Again, if your opponent retreats and you have what nine temptations available, or anything like this, you can just spit shot carry on, on the bench. Pretty cool. Um, what have we got here? The two Dennis. Yeah, we've got two Dennis. Again, we are welder deck. You know, we need to find welders. We can't play any other supporters for the most part, right? So, uh, two Dennis is going to help us draw through. Basically, when you bench him, discard your hand draw six. Really good card. <laughs> and we've got one Elder Gloss. Basically, when you bench him, you can reuse your welder. <laughs> That's about it. Or the one copy of Boss that we do actually play in here as well. And then one Crobat again, just to help us see cards. Because when your supporter, when your main supporter in the deck only lets you see three cards, uh, as good as Welder is, it's not it's not netting you a lot of card advantage there. So Crobat, Donates, and Elder Glasses will help alleviate that. 
So next up we've got the four welder. Obviously, let me just try and separate these. Um, you know, we're a fire Pokemon. So anytime you're a fire Pokemon that attacks with fire energy, which is all the time, right? Um, <laughs> welder is the support to go to. It lets you attach up to two fire energies from your hand to one of your Pokemon if you do draw three cards. Uh, the good thing about Victini is because he only attacks for two, you don't have to do the welder for full value. You can like welder one and then draw into the next one or draw into giant half, which is kind of refreshing, right? Let you like you know pay retreat one Victini, send up a next one, or you know um, you take damage on your V Max retreat, send up a Victini V to attack, finish them off. So give you a lot of options. It actually makes you wonder if you get like a memory capsule version of this deck as well, but uh, probably not. Well, I think the uh, attack on Victini V Max is extremely efficient. And then we got one boss's orders moving on. <laughs> we only need one because we've got the, the nine tails. Really, we're going to be, be trying to set up nine tails most of the time. But you know, if our opponent decides to like be super aggressive and carrying our nine tails and our vault picks, it's nice to just spring a boss out of nowhere, right? They might not see it coming. <laughs> Our stages for choice, we've got a little bit of spice here. We've got one Wondrous Labyrinth. My reason for this is, um, because we're a welder deck, we can, in theory, if everything's going correct, we can get to three energies attached to our Victinis in one turn. Um, you know, welder two, attach one, which means um, Victinis attack only costs two. So in all circumstances, for the most part, we can actually get our attack off under Wondrous Labyrinth. And you never know, Wondrous Labyrinth, if you stick it at the right time, it can really, <coughs> it can really mess up our opponents. So a sneakily good card in this deck, I feel. And then the other boring fire stage you know is Giant Half Ocean Heart. Right? That does discard a card from your hand if you do search your deck for two fire ranges and put them in your hand. Incredible synergy, not only with Welder, but with our Nine Temptations um, Nine Tails as well. So if you have Nine Temptations Nine Tails and we have Giant Half, we can <laughs> almost like a free gust every turn. Or without even, without even have to worry what's in our hand, we can just, you know, gust pretty crazy. Uh, four switch just to give us ultimate depth movement and so we can uh, move maneuver around our Jirachi. There's not much to explain there. Four Pokecoms. Now this is just so we can find our V Maxes and our nine tails. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, so we've got four communication. That's just so we can find our nine tails and our Victinis. Um, I wouldn't mind, you know, we don't really play a lot of Pokemon here, I feel. So Pokemon communication might not be the might want to go, you might want to try Great Balls, but for now I'm a bit of a baby and I want to stick with the Pokemon communication. Four Crit Ball, best card in the game for the most part. Yeah, it's gonna help us find everything. All our basics are Victini Vs, our Volpixes, um, Jirachis, but it also finds all our support Pokemon, you know, Elder Grass, um, Dedene and all that. So you have to play four Crit Ball. That's, you know, that's a pretty standard uh, card if you ask me. Four scoop up net. This is mostly just for our Jirachis, so we can just get them out the active. Now you can, if our opponent decides to like try and bosses order stall a nine tails, you can also scoop that net out as well. Um, and worth noting, because we are playing the full scoop, the full four scoop net, you can sort of play that maybe a Mewtwo instead of a Elder Grass, or you could play um, Giratina to help against special energies. For now, I just want to build a very consistent Victini list, but you know there are options and room for text potentially. And here's the spice for giant bombs. So here's my thinking, right? Uh, we do 220 damage with our attack with Victini, right? Um, if they then pop the giant bomb, they go to 320, which does KO a lot of V Maxes. Now it doesn't KO them all, but um, I actually have some deck space in here, and I thought giant bomb's pretty cool. Has really good synergy with Victini V as well if you're just attacking with that. So, um, it, so in case you don't know what giant bomb does, basically it's a tool card that stays attached to a Pokemon for one turn, your opponent's turn. Uh, but if the Pokemon it's attached to takes damage at 180 or higher, your opponent takes 10 damage counters back. So it basically gives Victini an effective damage output provided they hit into it at what 320. For two energy, yes, please. I'll get, I'll, I'll get on board. Now that's almost like what 80. No, that's like what 100. No, like 160 damage per energy. That's pretty nuts. So yeah, we'll see how giant bombs go in here for sure. Now you could go down like an EXP share route, maybe since that's going to be reprinted. But I think if you play an EXP share as a Victini, I don't really think that like, you need welder. You can go down some other sort of package. But for now, this is a welder giant bomb build. And we've got two Fire Crystal just to help out of our Nine Temptations, you know, in case we've used a lot of energy already. We can just Fire Crystal, get back free, Welder, all that good stuff. And then rounding up the list, we've got 12 basic Fire Rangers. I think that's a pretty good number. We don't need like a crazy amount for Victini, but we do need it. We do need quite a few if we're planning to attack with like a, uh, 
you know, a Karma run or a Nine Tails or anything like this. And let's just, you know, attach loads of energy to our Victini V if you want to attack with them. So let me know what you think. Do you think Victini V Max is going to be a big power hitter in the meta? I've always been a fan of efficient attackers, and Victini V is just that. You know, you have avenues where if you want to play that new healing support, I forgot the name, but you could play that in here if you want as well if you wanted to. So let me know what you think. If you have the more battle styles early deck list and coverage, make sure you smash that, smash that subscribe button down there and uh, hit like all that good stuff, okay? Thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.